This is the favoured sector for leading private capital market managers like Renuka Ramnath and S. Srinivasan. And speaking to Lata Venkatesh of CNBC TV 18, they also highlight other sectors and themes that they find value in. Listen in. I would say financial services is an evergreen, uh, uh, attractive. And thing. an old love for you. Yeah, and an old love as well. And, you know, if I look at my own portfolio, if I look at the uh, runway for growth of those companies, the way we are able to use technology to understand our customers better, manage our so risks better. So would it be? Deploying technology in your core business. You know, sometimes fintech gives a sense that everything is only tech. And there is no physical presence. I think still a physical reach, having branches, having touch points with the customer is an important one. But the penetration levels are so low and the need is so high. The entrepreneurship is so high in the country, mm -hmm. whether it is SME financing or microfinance or uh, housing All finance banks or personal credits. The growth seems immense for disciplined company. I'm not talking about hubris. Uh, it is... Very, very careful risk management, great deployment of technology, measured growth, well-capitalized balance sheet. It is an endless growth journey. And then there are, of course, other attractive sectors like healthcare. There is domestic consumer, done sensibly, is a very attractive sector. Pharmaceutical. Your best sector. Yeah. Well, financial services, obviously, because it's not, you know, we, we, we can't have enough of it in the, in the exactly. country. <laughs> um, and uh, you can play it in very many ways. Uh, the second, of course, is, you know, from our perspective, we are playing, let's say, if you look at Digital India as a theme, because we manage multiple strategies, in, uh, we are playing the Digital India through who is going to put the infrastructure for Digital India to really thrive. And therefore, we have a specific data center fund, which is building out data centers. And with the advent of 5G and AI, uh, the data center demand is likely to explode. We are also providing much needed capital for consolidation in industry. As you know, the banks are not permitted to provide consolidation financing. I, the, you're not seeing realty. I thought you would say that first. I'm going to come to that. <laughs> so I'm also playing the domestic consumption story because, you know, the, the residential real estate market is doing very well and we continue to sort of put very significant capital. It has great multiplier effect in the economy. Okay. So we are playing these three themes okay. through three different pools of capital. And uh, I think it's an interesting and sweet spot to be in. Uh, let, me try, uh, uh, let me try, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, a rapid fire. One question only. So please give me a monosyllabic answer. Okay. By when do you think we will have a new high in the market? Post-elections. Okay. You? 2024, May. Okay, okay that's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> All right, so that's an interesting conversation coming in from some of the fund managers there. And you can catch that entire interview and conversation tonight at 7 p.m. only on CNBC TV 18.